Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Segway Ponage. To keep Friday fun, I'm talking about a less practical but kind of interesting IoT hack that was released by IOActive security researchers this week. And by the way, IOActive is a security company just down the street here in Seattle. In any case, one of their researchers released a PDF about a new vulnerability he found in one of the Segway devices, basically their Mini Pro, which is a small hoverboard version of a Segway. Long story short, he found a way to actually easily replace the firmware of a Segway device. Uh, using a mobile app that they designed, they found it was very easy to connect to a Segway device over Bluetooth. Apparently, Segway does not sign their firmware or encrypt it in any way. So uh, once you have a PIN, which seems to be a PIN that all the Segways use, it's pretty trivial for the researchers to replace the Segway firmware with a Trojan version. And this Trojan firmware allows them to do things like turn off fail safes. This could allow you to disable a motor while it is moving, which would make a rider face plant into the ground. It also allowed uh, the hacker to take control of the Segway and drive it away and other interesting things like that. If you're going to Black Hat, apparently IOActive in a, a little mini event is going to talk more about this particular hack at Black Hat next week. I just thought it was fun, interesting research. They have a great video of it you've seen in the background here where they show you what you can do. And these kind of IoT hacks are very visually illustrating. They show you that IoT devices, some of these IoT devices that have connections to the physical world, digital vulnerabilities in these devices can cause some real issues. Now, I don't think criminal hackers are going to go and kind of make us fall off our hoverboards anytime soon, but it is kind of a, a rude awakening of what certain type of devices can allow hackers to do. I highly recommend you check out IOActive's research. That's it for today's story. Happy Friday, and thank you for watching.